So now mm -hmm. let's transition to the interview. How do you ace that? And one thing you had talked about is that if you're in the interview and you're coming in and you have that physical resume with you, when you print that resume out, should it be a white piece of paper, a pink piece of paper? Should it smell good? You know, should it be like super thick paper? Should it be standard paper? What should it be? I usually encourage people to use the resume paper. It's worth the investment just because if nothing else, it gives you the confidence that you know that you're representing your brand. That's who you are. It's representing you well. And you can hand that over and you can feel very confident about what you're handing over to that employer. Make sure that you also ask how many people you're going to be interviewing with, who those people are, so that way you're fully prepared and you have enough copies for each and every person. If your resume is two pages, go ahead and paper clip them. It's a great little way to make sure then if you're nervous and your hands are shaking that you're not trying to grab the pieces of paper 